Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, May the 30th, 2012 with a midday gold, silver, and stock forecast. Uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about, uh, uh, I don't know, three quarters of a percent here. Uh, did make a lower low this morning, took out 148.60. We got down to 148.53, just slightly undercutting this low made a few weeks ago, and then rallied back up. And uh, we're currently moving higher here, got back up here to this gray line, the 10-day moving average, you can notice it's starting to hook, which means it's starting to come around and move to the upside. Uh, this might bring in some of your uh, more day trader type people in. We do have a pickup in volume, a good sign. This is a this is a nice reversal day up off the bottom. Let's see where the volume ends up. But this could be a key reversal day here, uh, tapping the bottom three times here. Certainly, if we do take out 153.62, we go back up into an uptrend. Of course, we do have all this overhead resistance here, uh, the key moving averages. Your red line is a 21-day. We're below that. We're, of course, below the 50-day, the blue line, below the 100, the green dotted line, and below the 200, the black dotted line here. So um, back, in, uh, back in a little trading range here. I've uh, been kind of waffling around here for the last several weeks, uh, maybe putting in a bottom. We'll have to see. But uh, still in a downtrend, gold possibly trying to make a bottom. And I wanted to show you a weekly chart of the GLD. You can see the three taps here, uh, three weekly lows all around the same area here. And then um, uh, right around the same low here uh, that we made uh, at the end of 2011 at 148.27. So still staying above that. Uh, so, um, you know, but still in a downtrend, you can see it here. And then being held back here by this uh, red line here, which is the four week moving average. So I uh, just want to show you a weekly chart of the GLD. Uh, moving on now to silver, uh, we're up about a half a percent in silver and uh, uh, made a lower low today, of course, and then uh, rallying back up here to the 10-day moving average, which is starting to hook up just like in the gold. And you can see this trend line starting to form here, which is ascending. If I draw a line across the lows, you'll see it moving up like that. So that might be something here, but still below the the 21-day uh, and the 50-day and, of course, all the other moving averages. So silver still in a downtrend. Taking out 27.86 would turn us into a short-term uptrend. So let's watch for silver. A uh, volume is coming in lighter, but uh, we're about midday here. So let's see what happens. And here's the S&P 500 um, uh, down about 1.2% here and um, came down here, made a lower low. Um, and uh, sitting right here on the 10-day moving average. So we notice that the 10-day moving average is providing uh, a, a support uh, area for gold, silver, and stocks here at this point. Volume coming in light, but we're still midday here. Uh, but uh, in a little bit of an up leg here, still in a downtrend, uh, uh, short-term and long-term. And here's our NASDAQ composite, uh, almost down 1% here. You notice how we gap down here uh, at the opening, but still getting support at the 10-day moving average. Uh, this one's starting to flatten out a bit. Um, I'm not really hooking back up yet, but it could. Got a little leg uh, of a move uh, coming up here, still below all the key moving averages. Um, uh, let's see what happens here. Um, came down here, got near the 200-day moving average on the NASDAQ, and we're rallying up off of that. But NASDAQ also in a downtrend still uh, trying to uh, get ourselves uh, into a real move here. But uh, um, being below all these key moving averages is, is uh, uh, taking away some of the strength from the NASDAQ. But perhaps this leg will work us up uh, and uh, start challenging uh, certainly this uh, uh, green dotted line, the 100 day and the 50, which is now rolling over. And you'll see the 21 day, the red line in a downtrend. So. Um, being very careful uh, of these markets, uh, don't let a little uh, rally like this uh, suck you in until we get real confirmation that we are in an uptrend. So I hope that gave you some insight into the markets here, and uh, thanks for listening.